So good day everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we'll be treating an aspect of technical drawing which is called link mechanism. So we are about to draw this figure here that we want to draw the locus of arrow when it has undergone one revolution. Now this is this OA is called the crank, right? And the crank is moving in an anti-clockwise manner which is um, designated by this word this arrow here now and the crank has a connecting rod that is connected to a point to a, to a point on line what pq so as this connect this crank is rotating anti-clockwise this connecting rod is moving linearly along pq so we want to replicate this action at every instant around this word this crank this circular part here but we know the distance between this crank, center of this crank, to this point here is what? Is 60. So we need to redraw this diagram. Thank you very much. Now let's start. So the first thing you do is to draw your vertical line, long one, and then your center line. All good. After doing that, now you move your T-square. You move your T-square to this point here. And you draw another line that is cutting through. That is the next thing you do. Now after that, our crank here, this crank here, is giving us OA and OA is giving us what 30 millimeter so that is OA is the radius of this crank here and it's giving us what 30 millimeter then you do that and you draw your 30 millimeter so now you measure your 30 millimeter on your meter rule you measure your 30 millimeter on your meter rule so if I place it this way, or I use my meter rule, and I measure 30 millimeter. So if I start from 1, here, and I go to 4, that is what, 30 millimeter, right? So I place it on the center of this, and I draw my circle. I'm going to thicken it. So this is the circle that is moving in an anti-clockwise manner so at this point here it's moving like this start again so from here the next thing you need to do is to divide the circle into 12 so i can make use of my set square and do the trick so if i move it and i place it here I'm going to draw my faint line, the first one. I'll turn it the other way around too. I'll do the same thing. Second one. The third one. I'll do this. And that's how I'll divide it all through. Right? So this is what we are having. I've successfully just divided it. Now, if you look at this diagram very well, this particular diagram here, this point A is very close to this man here. Can you see? So I'm going to take in this guy here, which is this particular line here. Right? So I'll take in it to get my point A. So this is my point A here. So that is my what? point a so it is moving so i'll call it a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 so this will be a6 a7 a8 a9 a10 a11 then what 
A12. Are we good? So what you do now, if you look at this very well, you say the center of this crank here is 60 millimeter away from it. So look at it here now. This center, which is traced up here, is 60 millimeter away from this point. I'm going to measure 60 millimeter from here to this point here. Now, in doing that, I'll take my meter rule and I'm going to measure the 60 millimeter. So I'm starting from 2. So I'm starting from point 2 here. This is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. That will be at 8 here. Is that taking? So now what I will do here is by placing it very well on my T square, I'm going to draw a vertical line to represent my PQ. So I'll start one long one, short, long one, short. As I will do. So this is my what? My PQ. So let me come down. So this is my P here. Q. That is PQ. So the next question here is it said AQ as in AB is 100 and what? AB is 105 millimeter. So my A and B is falling on this point here. Because if you look at this very well, my B is here. So it said from A here to B here is 105. So I will take my compass and I'm going to measure 105 on my compass. So if I place it here, starting from 1, so this is 1 to 11 is 100, right? So 105 here. So that is my 105. And I'll take it to point A. And I'm going to cut on that line. So where I cut on that line, that will be my what? My B. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to join A and B together with this visible line right so this is a and this is let me see this is a1 this is what b1 now after doing that after doing that i'm going to measure a arrow a arrow is 70 you see from a to arrow here is what is 70 so i'm going to measure a arrow to be 70 so if I measure it from point A, for point A, so to 8 is my AR. So this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So this will be my what? My R. I will good. After you've done that, we successfully got in all our points. So the beauty of it is you are going to replicate what you've done on point A on the crank at every instance on the crank. So you got you do that for A2, A3, A4. So let's start that. So if I place my compass at A2, I'll mark. So I'll get what? My what? B2. And I'll draw my line to connect A2 and B2 together. right so i'm going to measure 70 because a r is 70 this arrow one here so i'm going to get arrow 2 so i measure 70 so from 1 to 8 70 here so i'll call it my arrow 2 hmm? and i'll do the same thing for a3 i'll come to a3 i'm going to cut on p and that will give me my B3. So I'm going to draw my line from B3 to A3. From B3 to what? To A3. This is the B3 here. So from B3 to A3, I'm going to join. So I'm going to measure my 70. So, B70, so that is uh, my R3, so the same thing I'll do for B42, so 
so this is B4 you do the same thing you draw so you measure 70 which is a arrow so this is some um, 1 to 8 70 so that is arrow 4 I'll go again with the same measurement which is this measurement 105 I'll come to a5 I'll mark to get my b5 so I'll rule my line from b5 to this point so get my AR which is 70 I'll measure it this is 70 that will be my arrow 5 I'll move again to B6 1.6 I'll cut so I'll have in my B6 so I'm going to draw to meet that point 0.6 So measure my AR. This is an uh, 80. That is R6. So I will complete doing that until. So you do for R12. So you place it here. You mark your R12. Then this is what you'll be having. This is B12. So you measure your 70, 70, so you measure your B12, so this is 1 to 8 is 70, so this is arrow 12. Now all this point of arrow, you are going to join it together to have the locus of this movement, is that again? So you use your French curve. Now use a French curve and you join all these points together. Use a French curve and you join this. So this is the link. Mechanism. Move mechanism. This is O point O. So O A is giving us thirty millimeter. Then um, AB is giving us 105 millimeter. Then um, we have AR giving us 70 millimeter. So when you say this is AR, right? So then. Um, distance between here and here is giving us a uh, 60 millimeter 60 millimeter so thank you very much